For today's tutorial, let's learn how to make these little flower earrings. And this technique can be used in two different ways. If you don't have a flower bead like this, you can make simple clustered dangle earrings like these. So let's get started. The materials required for making this project would be a pair of air wire, a pair of eye pins. You can actually make the eye pins yourself if you have a wire that is of 20 gauge or even 22 gauge would work. So 20 to 22 gauge wire, make your own eye pins or you can buy them as well. You need a pair of flower beads and these are glass flower beads. I'll leave the link below on where to purchase them. You need a gold plated chain or silver plated chain or whatever uh, chain, whatever color that you're making, you can use that colored chain. Uh, I'm using a rollo chain over here to make this part and I'll be cutting about six loops of this chain and then you need beads of same color different color i'm using two different colors in this case so i have five of this white color ones and i have six of these clear colored ones for each pair of earring The first thing I need to do is to cut six loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll go to the seventh one and cut that off. Stretch that out and get rid of it. Then I will take my eye pin, open up that loop, and I will put my chain and close this out. So I have created this section, and what I need to do is add the dangle parts next. If you need to make a longer earring, you would just use uh, a longer chain. For my project um, of this length, six loops are enough. What I need to do now is to create these open loops for all the beads. For a more in-depth tutorial on how to create these loops, I'm going to link below a, a tutorial that I have created and you would be able to learn how easily you can create these loops and wrap them. So let's get started. I have the first bead with me. I'm going to insert that in the end of this chain. I've already made an open loop and now I'm just taking my bend chains, chain nose plier, my chain nose plier, and I'm just going to close that by giving it about three twists and then cut off that extra portion. So I took my white bead over here. So on the next link over here, I'm gonna put in the other color that I'm using, which is a clear crystal. So take that on one side 
to your basic wire wrap on that same loop on the other side so i put one bead on this side the next bead i'm going to put on the other side which is going to be this side So there'll be two beads on either side. Let me see if you can see this clearly. Two beads on either side. Here we are with three beads added on. For the next link, which is right over here, I'm going to switch the color and I'm going to put the white bead. So I'm going directly above to the next loop and I'm going to put the other shade that I have and I would repeat that until I have beads on all my six loops so I put the white on one side and now I'm going to put the other white bead on the other side we have now placed the beads alternatively on each of the links that were on the chain. So I first, the first link has my white bead. Then I went over with the crystal bead, the clear crystal bead, then the white bead, then the clear crystal. So two on each of those links. And my dangle earring is almost ready. So now if I didn't have a flower bead what i would have done is instead of putting it onto the eye pin i would have used the ear wire and i would have an earring with just the dangle part of it so i don't really need a flower bead for this uh, to create a project like this but since i do have a flower bead i've put it on an eye pin and let me close the loop properly and here we go the next step would to this project would be to take your flower bead and it has a hole right over here so i'll insert it through the wire and there you go i have my little flower and a dangle another trick that i have is that if you don't have a rollo chain like this what you could do is use the jump ring so just connect the jump rings and create your own rollo chain so take one jump ring insert it over here close that and actually you just have to link all the jump rings together. So in this way, you could have created your own roller chain. You don't really need a chain. You could just use jump ring if needed. So let's continue with our project. So insert the flower bead, you have about more than half an inch left over here. What you could do is snip off a little bit extra and create only a single loop. But I don't really like doing that because you have to be really accurate in that case. So in this case, what I would do is just take my wire and create many loops. And that way, I don't have to be really accurate about it. So I have multiple loops on top. And my dangle part is ready to be inserted into an air wire. So the way to open an air wire is to push it at the back or front, but never expand it like this. So I'm going to push it to the back, take my part that I just created, and close my loop. 
And here we have a really special summer spring beautiful earring that is ready. I created these in different colors. Let me just show you. So I made the blue one in silver. I have a blush pink, baby pink in gold. And I have a purple set over here. So purple, pink, blue, a little darker pink. Have fun with these. These are so beautiful. All the links will be provided for the materials, except for these beads over here. These you can use any of your beads. The size for these beads are about 3 to 4 mm. I think they look great in 3 to 4 mm. Um, there is a slight variation in this one where I used a 6 mm bead for the end part. So this gives a little bit of a different look. If you don't have the flower bead, then just make simple dangle earrings like these. So, subscribe and like for more projects like these. Have fun making them. Bye.